What's up guys, it's Azran here, and we are back with coverage of the ULC5 semifinals, and we have here Valiant versus the Lotus League. Winner goes on to face Alliance in the finals, who beat X3-2. So, our first match is once again Lycan vs. Wincon. Lycan vs. Wincon, um, Lycan's rocking the little normal team, Wincon's working, rocking with the steel. Wincon has the advantage here because the bit diggers be banded, so he's gonna have to choose between earthquaking or fire punching, so it's like 50-50s with Heatran. So we'll see how this works out. Lycan leads off with Diggers B. Fire punches straight up on the Celestila, but Wincon switches the Skarmory. He takes a little bit of rocky damage. Lycan doubles because he knows the Heatran's coming out. Lycan goes for a focus blast and he, does, and he misses, and unfortunately, that is probably the game, because I think that's Specs Meloetta. And that's Specs Meloetta there, so that's really bad. So boom, he misses a second focus blast, unfortunate. And then, what's gonna happen here is just a bunch of series of, like, it's just like stalling back and forth. It's actually not very exciting to commentate, quite honestly. Um, there is a pivotal turning point here, somewhere. It's around the time when Lycan gets, um, brings in his Porygon Z. It's, it just be Porygon Z, Porygon Z, you coming soon? Yeah, so Porygon, so, let's backtrack, I guess, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack right here. So, we're on turn 46, he goes into Magirna. Diggersby hits a, a return to knock it out. Skarmory comes out to wall this thing. Lycan has to switch out. In straight, going hard into Porygon Z. Skarmory gets up a spike. Now I know Lycan did Z conversion. Now Lycan, I know Lycan shouldn't have Z conversion here, fearing the whirlwind and then you know losing his Z conversion boosts. But he shouldn't have gone for the T bolt. Like, what is this Skarmory doing back to you? And I'm sure T bolt is. I mean, Shadow Ball does more than 50 percent. So you can to a KO if he decides to stay in and whirlwind you. So I don't think Thunderbolt was the play there. But now Lycan is able to live and go for the Z conversion. Gets the ghost type. Goes for the Shadow Ball here. Gets a crit on the Excadra. I don't think it matters. It's adaptability plus one. Ghost move. Ferrothorn decides to protect. This will do a decent amount of the Ferrothorn, maybe 50 to 60 percent. Goes for the Shadow Ball here. Boom. Leech is up, and that knocks out the Porygon Z. But now, Diggersby has a chance, I guess. Diggersby has somewhat of a chance. Test the Fire Punch here. Gonna double out, because that's all he can do. Goes into Heatran here. This is good, because now the Heatran is getting whittled little by little. Yep, he goes out into Skarmory now. Doubles back out into Diggersby, which is the right play the right play, but there's absolutely, I feel like maybe he should have just gotten some chip damage with Porygon, I don't know if Porygon has T-Bolt or Ice Beam, so that the Scar, at least the Skarmory would be threatened, and then he would still have a chance, but now the Skarmory can just roost off into Oblivion, but then again, when the Diggersby went down, he couldn't kill the Ferrothorn, so I think that's a GG. Yep, Lycan just clicked X, and we are down 0-1 first match. Moving on to the second match. Second match is Vadoom versus Lotus Balance, and I hope Vadoom fucking destroys Bal Lotus Balance because of this abomination. Anyways, we'll get into the battle. He should. He has the advantage. Yeah, like, yeah, no thunders here. No thunders means, and like, Golem doesn't really do too much to Chansey, honestly. He volts out. He goes into Alolum. Gets off a of Toxic. This golem toxic, so this golem is, is is even more useless if it's not an offensive golem. It's like rocks toxic, so rocks come out foul play. Yeah, that, yeah, that that foul play indicates like this is this golem is gonna do pitiful damage. Balance goes into uh, into Rotom. Vadoom just recovers. So Vadoom is playing this um Rotom very lightly, and he's not letting he's not getting up the rocks. That's what's boggling my mind here. Like, like, one, one, Balance is not attempting to get his own rocks up to put in pressure on Vudoom's team. 
I mean, oh, he did. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. But the ch like, go into Chansey. Half of your entire team, your entire team walls in. Like, put get up the rocks so that they stop vaulting around for free, so that the golem's return doesn't do as much. Like, finally, Jesus. Just for the grass not here for some fucking reason. I don't. Oh, because he probably only has vault switch, which is very interesting. Gets up the rocks. So Raptor comes out. Golem goes for the toxic here. What if the golem goes down? If that's not Z hypnosis, um, Vudum should win. Circuitry comes out. So let's see if this is Z hypnosis. Goes in a raptor here. Yeah, Gigavolt Havoc. He used Gigavolt Havoc. Which is actually nice because he was predicting the chains. That's actually a nice tech. So Meloetta comes out. Meloetta should just get some chip damage off a of second. Yep, good play, smart play. Yeah. So this Z Hypnosis Zerkatry could have been a threat. Support gun just goes straight up for the ice beam. And once again, like just Keep it safe. We need something to deal with the bottom. All right, so good, good, good. Balance makes a good play of grass nodding. I'll make diggers be. Frustration comes out, annihilates. Voodoo makes a better play and predicts, predicts balance to predict quick attack and frustration is Zapdos. So Raichu psychics here. Raichu focus blasts. It's a life orb hit. Soft boil comes out. Rotom comes out now. Chance is soft boiled. Rotom Hydro's here. Got a seismic toss coming out. Rotom goes for the Wisp. Chance is seismic tosses again. Yep, Voodoo's going into Diggersby here. Pain split. Excellent play. Excellent play. Coco comes out, and that's a free return, or frustration, whatever you want to call it. So Coco's down. Raichu low form is gone, but you can still save this. Go into Chansey, which completely walls. Unless he gets a Spadef drop here. Nope. So no Spadef drop, so... Okay, that was very... Okay, that was risky as shit. Hang on, that was... Well, I mean, that was risky, but then again, Diggersby and Porygon clean up on the Rotom. And life and the Raichu would die to the life orb, so I guess that's fine. So yeah, Voodoo takes that. Thankfully, you know. Once again, could have had a much better time with normal if he had a fucking Thunderous. Just U-turn out, you know. Not not worried about the Diggersby coming in because you could just U-turn on out. But, alas... Here we go, Zugu versus Batora. We've got water versus normal. So much fucking normal. Why is everybody running normal? Jesus Christ. Every all, everybody on Valiant decided to run normal. Like it's like we're the X League, except we use normal model mono instead of fucking electric mono. So let's see how this works. Zugu leads off with Star Raptor. And yeah, finally, an offensive Star Raptor, and that thing is banded, because that thing just got obliterated. Holy shit, this is probably Scarf Pelipper. Yep, yep, but Zoo did not predict the Scarf Pelipper. I didn't, I don't understand. I don't understand, I guess Chansey was free, because if he just, if he... I guess if he went into Chansey and you turn, then he could win with Azu, but... So that's a, so maybe... Like, banded Star Raptor was gonna, like, crush him. So he does a toxic on this side of the toad. Azu comes out. Yeah, this is this is this is where it all happened. No, this is this is that banded or like A V or some shit like that. GG is Matias. I like the Nick nickname. So this raptor should be the one defogging here. Or roosting. This crunch is gonna do a fuck ton because it doesn't have an intimidate. And he's a defense drop. He decides to roost here for some reason. Zugu is out of his mind. Yeah, 
Azugu is out of his fucking mind. And his download. So I really, I, I'm really liking this team by Azugu. It's like, like my kind of normal mono, like the I ran in Oras with with Staravia. But unfortunately, I feel like I feel like he's already behind so much, and he gets a defense drop. Jesus. All right, so he's just gonna—he's just trying to play the para game, and this Sharpedo is never ever getting parried, which is insane. Now he can finally go to Azu. Let's go for the superpower, and then Zuku gets decked in the face. Porygon comes out. Um, do you go for Z conversion here? Yep, he did it. He fucking did it. He's sacking the Sharpedo. I like that play, actually. Oh, shit, this is Recover. This is some fucking flames. Oh, but he gets crit. He gets crit. Fuck, no. <laughs> no. No, no. So not only does the Sharpedo never, ever get fully paired, it also, you know, crits. So that's unfortunate. And Zugu absolutely gets obliterated by, Do by Batora. So... And that's a GG. Oh my lord. First win con with steel. Like, win con with steel and then electric. Like, if I was, if work didn't, was 30 minutes like later, if I had worked 30 minutes later, then I could have obliterated these motherfuckers. Anyways, now the score is 2 1. Lotus's favor. So now we have Dell here, who is undefeated so far in the ULC. So I'm hoping this is a win, but he's facing off against Dragon, and he's got Koopa, Koopa regular Psychic with Deoxys Defense. So this is interesting. Torpid leads off with Latios, Dell leads off with Victini. Victini going for free ass U-turns, but no, he decides to double, you know, not wanting to take that Rocky Helmet damage. Immaculate, immaculate plays. So now Deoxys is in, now Kyokurum comes in, Deoxys gets up his own rocks. Switches into Jirachi here. Tank the Outrage. Not exactly too well. This Jirachi decides to protect. Trying to get the two turn confused. Calculated plays. Calculated plays by Dell. Wish comes out from Jirachi. Deoxys Defense Formation comes out. EQ does absolutely nothing. Kieran Black comes out once again. Gets a spike up. Gets another spike up. Wow, that is a slow ass Kurum. That is a slow ass Kurum. Oh, that's a fast ass Deoxys. Is that like Scarf? That's Scarf Deoxys or some shit like that? So Confusion comes out. So now spikes are going to really hurt, punish the Garchomp on, on the coming. So yeah, Jirachi can, can you turn even though he gets rocky damage? Like, he's getting really. Punished hard. So Dragology decides to come out now. Just to go for the V crate on the Garchomp. What a real nigga right here. And but he's gonna knock something out because this is probably he's done a lot of damage. Dragology goes down. Latios comes out now. Victini switches out into Jirachi. The defog is coming, which is good because now because now Dell's rocks go up. Garchomp comes back out. He decides to U-turn, take a rocky damage, for a rough skin damage. Vladios comes out now, V create to the nuts. No, it goes into Garchomp, doubles out into Jirachi. Good play by Torpid here. Garchomp gets his rocks back up, Iron Head comes out. Is this with a Trick Room? He's, like, I, I don't really see how Dell's winning this. So Jirachi goes for U-turn here. Latios comes out. Latios doubles out, sacking their Jirachi. Goes for the Draco. Now that the Lottie's weak, and I think Koopa's coming in now. Nope, Victini. It's still Victini, guys. It's like, what do you have for that, like, Dragonite? I mean, he has Slowbro to wall it, but... Latios comes out here. Draco. Knocks something out. Goes into his own Latios. 
Sax is Lottie. That's the scarf. Latios. So now he's gonna go into Hoopa. Finally, Hoopa finally comes out. Does he make the Dawn play? Yep, he goes and fo goes for the Focus Blast. Dawn play. Gets the Spadef drop. Juicy Spadef drop. And Dell. Oh, that is a play right there. That is a great play by Dell. So you know, Hoopa. Torpid knows that Hoopa is um Dell's win condition. So you know, after going into to Dragonite, he does. He knows like. Torpid's thinking, oh yeah, he doesn't want the Hoopa to die, so he's gonna go into slow bro predicting my Dragonite, so he's gonna double out into Hydreigon to get a kill. But no, Dell just stays in and focus blast predicting that Hydreigon. What an awesome play. Great play by Dell. So now the Dragonite comes out, goes into Victini here. Outrages. Slow bro comes out and is able to wall this Dragonite. That is why that is why Dell is a god. Slack off, so now this slow bro can't touch. Yeah, this this is over now. Can't crit, can't touch. It's just gonna calm mind up and win here. Yeah. Especially since this looks like it to be banded banded D Knight. Yep, this should be over. Yeah. But Torpid is just hoping that you know he can break through the slow bro's ability and get some a magical crit. But nope, Dell is just going to play it nice and safe. Burn him with Scald. Eventually whittle him down, and then finally Torbert decides to click X. Yeah, so I wonder what people were saying in the chat. Like, I wonder what people were saying in the chat after that that play. Yeah, folks blast. Oh, I'm, oh my lord, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck, yeah. Christus. <laughs> so he was like, Jesus Christus. Dell is a god. He is divine. Yeah, so that was a really good play by Dell, you know, in the clutch, or else we would have lost, because, because, damn, it looked pretty bad for Dell until that play. So, now we move on to the final battle, we are tied 2-2, and we've got Sakis versus Bitter, so I'm liking it so far, Steel versus Normal, or, I mean, but, you know, you never know. So, Bitter leads off with Meloetta, Saki leads off with Ferrothorn, and Saki just straight up protects here. Meloetta goes for the Juicy Folks Blast. Unfortunately, Saki doesn't have a Celestila, so this isn't actually going to take this too well. Bitter's running Smeargo, what the fuck? Why did he, Saki's protect here? Like, why did, why did he protect? So, Smeargo gets up the rocks. Smeargo decides to go for a taunt. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, Bitter. Go for the power whip here, trying to see what this Ferrothorn set is. Saki goes out into Skarmory. So this is Spikes, so now Saki needs to defog these things away. Oh, that's not looking good. Move the rocks up. Yeah, so Saki is fearing the Z conversion. I would have I would have gone into Pharaoh every time, unless he doesn't have Gyro Ball. So now, like, Saki loses, like, a Diggers B answer to Fire Punch. So once, so if he trans being put on a timer, this is tricky. So Ferrothorn goes for the Power Whip, knocking out the Smeargle. Meloetta comes out. Bronzon comes out. Meloetta goes for the Focus Blast, and if he hits, he's going to 2-hit KO. So Saki is hoping, I think, for a Focus Blast Mist at this point. But he does not get it, and Bronzong goes down. So now he's gonna go straight into Scizor, get off the freest of U-turns. Yeah, this Meloetta is going to throttle him, and that Focus Blast actually hits. Oh my lord! So yeah, this is Saki's best play, honestly, to now just get, go for Focus Focus Miss. But apparently, Focus Blast does not miss on for for Bitter over here. Apparently, it doesn't. Who knows? So, Saki's team has like three Protect Mons on it. It's really weird. Like, the Bronzong has Protect, the Heatran has Protect, the Pharaoh has Protect. Like, is this like Toxic Stall? Like, Super Toxic Stall? Everything carrying Monotoxic Protect? Very interesting. Hmm. So, it looks like Diggers B, a combination of Diggers B and Pori is going to clean up here. Star Raptor goes for the post combat, Heatran protects. Goes into Diggers be the king. At least, I mean, I mean, if there's one thing that's good, the protect comes in now. So hopefully that Napoleon is air balloon. Is it? Is it? 
it looks like it's air balloon. Hey, hey. So are we still in this? Are we still in this? You still have to play the 50-50 game, boys. Scald comes out. So now he's gonna go into Ferrothorn, which is which sucks. Because either way, Saki's had to just rely on this Meloetta missing a goddamn Focus Blast. Because if the Ferrothorn goes down, then he bitter wins with Porygon Z. If like Empoleon goes down, he wins with Diggers B. So yeah, this Meloetta just just doesn't miss. Just doesn't miss. The absolute opposite of hustle. Yep, this Saki. So this is a, like a toxic stall team by Saki's. Meloetta comes out. Toxic. I would have brought fighting mono, quite honestly. Fighting mono or fighting mono or ice mono. But yep. He tries to go for protect. Meloetta uses shadow ballinators. So Meloetta did its job, like honestly. So now it's time to win. He trying to decide to go for the protect. Hmm. We're gonna see he's gonna go for the T bolt here. He's gonna go for the Pluminators. Smart because he doesn't want to risk the burn and Diggersby can just clean up, quite honestly. Yeah. So it predicts the protect by Saki's. So I could just click it protect. <laughs> just press some buttons and click and protect. So frustration. So he should live he here. Oh my god. So that crit actually probably mattered. That crit mattered, so his he could have actually still had a chance. Well, no. No, no, no. He didn't. The Porygons, he had T-Bolt, so it was over. But, I mean, he, should, he could have at least burned the Diggersby to give him a false sense of hope. So that should be a GG right here. Yeah. Because that's two-hit KOing. And now Porygons, he just comes in to clean up. And that's the game. GG. Lotus takes it 3-2. So the Valiant League's run in the ULC is over for this season, but it was a good run. We made it to the semifinals. Unfortunate that I was only able to play one game this season solely because of work, but, you know, hopefully I'll get more in for the next season. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be providing coverage of the finals, Alliance versus Lotus. That should be a good one, so place your bets. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.